Hello everyone, Michael back from another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove old SharePoint lists and document libraries that aren't used. If you like Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be going out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So I'm working in my marketing SharePoint. Yesterday in my previous video, we cleaned up the sidebar and now I'm going to clean up all the SharePoint list and document libraries I don't use. I've used these lists for examples in previous videos, but I'm looking to clean up the SharePoint. You might be trying to clean up old SharePoints in your organization that you wanna to use. To do this, you'll need the correct permission to be able to remove SharePoint lists and everything. You might need to contact an admin to do this, the admin of the site. So in the top right hand corner, you see the cogwheel settings and the easiest way to see everything in your SharePoint is in the site contents right here. This will give you a nice list of everything in your SharePoint. So as you can see, we have all these document libraries, all these lists that aren't listed in the sidebar. So users won't be able to find them unless they go into the site contents or leaves the search bar at the top. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of show you what I'm going to do to clean up the SharePoint. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. So I don't really remember what these, these summer plans are used for. I'm just gonna go ahead and check the files within them. It just looks like it was two folders that I haven't used before. So we're gonna go back to the site contents and if you click on the triple dot, uh, if you highlight over it, you go ahead and click on delete and it'll move everything over to the recycling bin and the recycling bin will remove everything after 30 or 60 days, I believe so. so make a mistake you'll be able to restore those in there and that's in the top right hand corner over here documents library this is default on sharepoint yeah you can't remove it so if you want to clean that out you'll have to go in and remove folders or the files that you aren't using financial files i'm not using this anymore so i'm going to go ahead and delete form templates uh this is required on the sharepoint site so you won't be able to remove it for site assets, you can actually remove it, but I'd leave it in the SharePoint just in case, because this is contains the icons and everything. So I will leave site assets in there. Style library, I will leave in there as well, even if it doesn't contain any items, because when the SharePoint's first created, it has all these on default. Summer Project 2023, looks like it have files in there, but I don't use that anymore, so I will delete it. Template library. Uh, once again, it is this folder, this document library looks like it contains all the templates you make in the SharePoint site. So if you go to documents and if you go to new and add a template, I believe that's where all those files are stored. So I would leave that there. All right. So I have a few, we're done with document library. So I'll go into the SharePoint list right now and just go ahead and remove the SharePoint list. I don't want to use anymore. I will use the birthday list for examples in the future. Play data I will use in the future. Event calendar I will use in the future. Grocery list doesn't have any items. So I will go ahead and remove that. Holiday schedule will leave. Marketing I'll delete. I'll delete. Order list. It's got 43 items so it can be useful in the future. And I also have a calendar down here that I've been using. A site pages. This is um also one of those document libraries created on default i will leave that you're also able to see the sharepoint sites over here so if you wanted to remove a sub site you would go into here to uh, that site so this is the sub site right now and i'm just waiting for it to load in the top right hand corner all right to remove a sub site it'd be under site information delete site and then you can delete the subsite if it's not being used anywhere. I know in some SharePoints, there's a ton of subsites. Um, it's not really the proper way of doing things, but um, if you want to use subsites, you can. So that is how you would clean up old SharePoint lists, uh, SharePoint document libraries. Just when you're going through it, make sure you're not going to delete any files that uh, can be used or should be stored somewhere because uh, after the recycling bin, 30 days, they'll be completely gone. And if you don't see a recycling bin, it should be on the sidebar. Yeah, you can't remove the recycling bin. So it's on the sidebar. Let's say I delete a list that I wasn't trying to delete. 
this is how you restore it. You would click on the list that you want or the uh, multiple list that you want holding down control. You would go ahead and click on restore. So in this case, I'll do marketing survey. I restored it. So if I go back to my site contents now, as you can see, we have the marketing survey back with all the data inside. So that is how you restore items using our cycle bin. And that will be the video on how to clean up your SharePoint site of old SharePoint list and document libraries that aren't being used anymore. I highly recommend going through it maybe like yearly because it depends how, how active your SharePoint is because people can create empty lists during this list they're not using and it's just uh, making it cluttered it's good to clean out and organize it. So that'll be the video for today. If you liked it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next one.